Hi guys, and uh, welcome from designinmotion.net. Today uh, I'm going to cover a sort of an addition to my blog post reviewing the 3D Connection CAD mouse that was just uh, announced last week. So um, to start with, I'm just going to cover the, the CAD mouse driver configuration. Now, if you've used a 3D mouse in the past, uh, a, 3, a 3D Connection 3D mouse in the past, then you'll be familiar with this uh, dialog. Or sort of, certainly from recent times at least. So the driver is exactly the same um, for all their devices. It's a unified driver across the whole lot. Um, and you can switch between the devices you've got connected from this uh, little sub menu here. So we'll switch over to the CAD mouse. You get a nice little logo um, giving you an indication of which settings you're modifying at all times. Um, we've got the familiar overall speed setting in here and then um, under the advanced settings dialog can change the sensor polling rate to make the uh, the mouse more accurate um, and this this setting here actually makes the the cursor a lot faster um, within itself so it works quite nicely at that speed there um, it can be quite hard to track if it's, it's kind of too fast up here then the buttons um, so we've got the the gesture button setting here so we can use the, the default settings for the gesture button and there's the middle mouse button um, so at the moment the wheel button is set up to mimic the middle mouse button but we could change that to something else if we wanted to and then we've got the quick zoom in and quick zoom out and I'll show you how that works in a minute and I, yeah I recommend definitely keeping that um, certainly for CAD keeping those settings um, there as deep by default okay so if we switch to a different application then we get a different set of settings um, and word as well okay all right let's start with solidworks we'll close off that graphics driver dialog so the middle mouse button the full middle mouse button not the one with the scroll wheel behaves in much the same way so i'm depressing that button now and now i'm pressing down the scroll wheel so it's exactly the same so later on um, once you've got used to it and i will eventually as well assign a different um, command to the scroll wheel button instead now the quick zoom in and out um, one of the things I've always found in the past that has been um, awkward on more comp um, complex models is being able to zoom in precisely with the 3D mouse puck so um, I've often ended up defaulting to zooming in with the, with the scroll wheel on the mouse and because it always zooms to where the pointer is so this this area of interest and I'm going to go in there but that that tends to be a bit slower so 3D connection have introduced this quick zoom in and out um, and so when you click the forward button the forward side button on the side of the mouse um, wherever you're pointing the Mac cursor to at the time it zooms straight into that point when you select the the rear side button it goes back to the same zoom level but it zooms back to the center of the screen So that's a really nice feature now. Um, I didn't think that it, I'd use it all that much, but I'm using it all the time. So it's well worth it. Now the gesture menu. Again, this is something I was used to being able to, um, when you right click and hold, you've got this gesture menu here in SolidWorks, similar in Inventor. Um, so I kind of thought it was a bit overkill when we'd end up not using it. but how it works you press the gesture button on the top of the mouse and you don't have to keep it held down which is nice you just move the cursor straight through the quadrant and it activates the command so it's really slick so straight away I can then um, measure these distances however I want the other two handy ones is switching between view styles so we can go from wireframe and obviously you can set these up to be um, whichever view styles you want but it's just a really neat way of being able to switch between view styles to check your designs as you work. And then properties. Now, personally, I'd change that. I'd probably set it to the uh, document properties for the parts and assemblies and so on so I can uh, add that all important metadata for your, uh, for your CAD models. All right, so let's move on to Inventor. And really, it's, it's much the same. So I'm going to zoom in here using my quick zoom in have a look inside um, so if I want to add some fillets along the inside edge here or some chamfers then 
using the quick zoom tool is perfect for pulling that off and just getting right into the detail that you want at any given time. So we finish that off and then zoom straight back out. So just like SolidWorks, when you right click, you get a context menu. It's very similar. If you click and drag, then you can go and um, activate that command immediately. Or you can right click and then left click to select the command. Now we get this additional gesture menu. The measure command is always handy. It's in the same place for both CAD applications. A lot of people won't be switching between SolidWorks and Inventor, but you could be switching between SolidWorks and AutoCAD or Inventor and AutoCAD, so having that consistency is nice. But with Inventor, rather than orbiting um, with the middle mouse button, it's panning, so that's that's handy. Most Autodesk packages will do that. And again, um, I can just independently change the, the setting for um, the scroll wheel button if I want. So moving on from Inventor, we can have a look in Word. Now, we've got the side buttons just go page up, page down, which is nice. Now, the gesture menu, we've got one set up. So, find on page, brings up the search tool immediately. Zoom to 100%. So, if you've, uh, I'm going to use the control modifier key on my 3D connection Space Mouse Pro Wireless on the side here. So, I don't have to put my hand on the keyboard. And so, if we zoom out and then press the gesture button down to zoom 100%. Anyway, so we can copy and paste, which is pretty handy. So a good example here would be to highlight a whole bunch of text, press and move out to the side, and then come down the end here and press and move out to the right, and I get that. So it's pretty fluid little uh, movement there. Okay, so moving on from Microsoft Word, let's check out what we can do in a browser. So um, here's the Design and Motion feed. Make sure you can follow us on Twitter if you uh, if you're watching here on YouTube and you got a Twitter account at Design and Motion. Now, if I just scroll, I can just click and scroll in increments. All I, all I need to do is flick the scroll wheel, and it doesn't actually physically turn all that much, but the driver immediately makes the screen scroll quickly at full speed so you can get around pretty quickly now um, forward and backwards on the side this keep using the buttons on the side of the mouse as you would expect from a, a decent mouse so yeah that's all standard um, and then the gestures also work here so we can go to the bottom of the page we can go back to the top of the page this is quite nice being able to open a new tab but we can also go full screen and um, I don't know, I'd probably end up using full screen more often now. I was always, I just, I don't know, could never really find the uh, F11 key when I wanted it. But having it right at the tip of your mouse now, it's probably going to improve my reading experience online. All right, and then finally, let's cover Windows Explorer. So navigating around, um, you get the same sort of experience being able to navigate forwards and backwards through folders with the with the buttons on the side of the mouse. Then this is the, the generic gesture menu settings throughout Windows. Um, you can see that when we come and have a look in here. You start browser and properties and start browser and properties copy and paste. So again we can copy files if we wanted to and then paste files into a different folder. Um, yeah so I'll leave you with that image um, from the SolidWorks World 2015. Somebody painted that mural on the floor. It's pretty cool. And um, so is the device. I hope you like it. If you get a chance to check one out for yourself, do so. If not, um, yeah, I really recommend buying one. All right, well, take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.